Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? Of course. Pull up a tree stump. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. That's not the appropriate way to address your commanding officer, Lieutenant. Sorry, ma'am. Maybe I got a bad signal. And if you're a... Maybe there's someone else you'd rather confide in. Ma'am. All right, Alenko. Off the record, permission to speak candidly, cross my heart, and hope to die. What are you talking about? Uh, Dr. Tassoni, ma'am. There's a lower deck rumor that she's uh, interested in you. And it's more than a source of Prothean data. She's a very interesting lady. To my uh, tastes, but uh, I never claim to be big on alien culture. You seem awfully worried about my personal affairs. It's just that we don't have much downtime these days. I like being around you, but I... I don't want to take up your personal time. Look, there's nothing between Liara and me. What's the real issue here, Caden? You're right, sorry. It wasn't, uh... Liara's not my main concern. I'm not questioning any decision you've made, Shepard. Let me be clear about that. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. You get my meaning? Talk to me, Caden. You got a little black rain cloud sitting over your head. Oh, I'm sure it's just the humidity. You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. And the Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. To introduce himself, he liked to say, I was at the helm of the Dreadnought that killed your father. When I told him my dad wasn't in the war, he'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. Vernus had it in for me after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. The point of all this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. So why are you telling me this? Is there something I can do to help you get over it? I'm 32, Shepard. You don't serve as long as I have without coming to terms with yourself. You also learn that if someone is special to you, you help them. Try to keep them from making mistakes. Special, huh? If I'm out of line, just say the word. You're not out of line, Caden. But there are regs. I get you, Shepard. I don't make a habit of complicating the chain of command. Just think about what I said. I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. 
Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in all of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Ah, uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab, hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. You mean threatening? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These 
people weren't just Dr. Saleon's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties. The ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs, but they wouldn't listen. It's not worth the risk. You pursue the vessel and disable it. That's the best choice. They sent the military after him, but he got away just the same. Yes, they did. I went to Patton and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. If you don't care about the fate of those hostages, then you're no better than he is. You're just a terrorist with a badge. Yeah, maybe you're right. It doesn't make it any easier, but I see your point. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart, his idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Salian, I don't want to be there when you find him. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. Still, I find the loss of Captain Kirahi troubling. But I won't blame you. I know you lost one of your own as well. Captain Kirahi will be missed. But many others will live because he gave his life. That is our lot, I suppose. But there may come a day when so many have been sacrificed, it will be impossible to tell who won. The mission was a success. That will have to be enough. We won't trouble you for long. Our unit will be disbanded as soon as we depart. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Shepard! I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again. Uh, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. 
We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. Just remember why you're really here. Stay focused on Saren. Understood, Shepard. I should go. See you later. Yes, Commander? Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Yeah, there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. The Quarians endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the Genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Thank <laughs> you. 
welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Yes, Shepard? Did you find my sister? Dahlia's dead, and I know she was blackmailing you. So the truth comes out. I hope you're not angry. Surely you can understand why I lied to you. If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. That is why I misled you. I could not risk you exposing me. But now that Dahlia is out of the picture, it's no longer a problem. I would have helped if you'd just told me the truth. Perhaps you're right. I am sorry. We have trust issues in my family. Obviously. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. I don't want your blood money. I do not like being in anyone's debt. Consider it a fee for doing your civic duty if it makes you feel any better. Or give it away to some charity. I care not. The funds are already on their way. They are your problem now. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. No, I'm... Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him, frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were scouting the system we found Baines's ship in. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out.
Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Hello, Commander.
I'm already getting readings. This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. I did this as a favor, Ms. Wong. You're on your own now. Of course, Commander Shepard. I won't trouble you any further. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna show this to my publisher. I'm already... Thank you so much for your help. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Krogan and Vermeer? Hard to believe, Commander. Good thing those Salarians were there to back up your report. Between the visions and your warnings about the Reapers, the Council's starting to think you're a little unstable. What about you? I think you get results. As long as you keep getting the job done, there's nothing to worry about. Yes, Commander? I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Yes, Commander? Do you know anything about Vermeer? Sorry, Shepard. I've never even heard of it before all this. You'll have to go out there and check it out for yourself. Where can I find Admiral Kahoku? Last I heard. Is there anything else, Commander? I'll be here if you need anything. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Reporter Kalisa Algilani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Unfortunately, Shepard refused to answer questions, raising concerns regarding the specter's commitment to humanity. We'll have exclusive footage later today.
Stand by shore party.